Welcome to Top 5 Galleries. In today's fascinating facts video, we are going to look at the impact that invasive species can have on a population or environment. To do so, we are going to use the invasive species of cane toads and show the devastating effects this species brought upon Australia when it found its way to the vast island. Sit back and prepare for fascinating facts. To get started, let's first cover what an invasive species is. Invasive species can be plants, animals, or pathogens that are non-native to an ecosystem, and if brought in, can cause extreme harm to the environment. This is exactly what happened for Australia when the cane toads were introduced. Cane toads are native to South America, so when they were brought to Australia, they caused a few major problems. They were brought in by the Bureau of Sugar Experiment Stations in 1935 to kill off a sugar cane eating beetle. Little did the Bureau know at the time that quite the opposite would occur. What started with 100 young cane toads has now turned into 200 million or more. This is largely due to the fact that they have almost no natural predators in Australia or anywhere else. They barely have any predators because their skin contains a poison, released only when they are attacked or threatened. The only species in Australia that is immune to this poison is the meat ant. However, Australian dwarf crocodiles have started to smarten up and get used to the cane toads. Most have learned to only eat the legs off the toads, keeping them mostly safe from the poison. There is also a monetary related issue that these toads have brought into Australia. First off, the toads aren't really doing the job that they were brought in to do, which means Australia has less resources to sell because beetles have continued to eat away at the sugarcane. Also, the amount of money funded and put into research greatly outweighs the cost of never bringing the species to Australia in the first place. This means that if they had just let the natural ecosystem in Australia handle the sugarcane situation, they would have probably saved a whole lot more money. To end off with more of a fun fact, maybe not for the toads though, at one point in time, cane toads were used as balls to play golf and cricket. However, this was banned in early 2000s, so you won't see this on television anytime soon. Hope you guys enjoyed our first fascinating facts video. If you did, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more great videos and facts.